Today we're going to go over the new 22 Magnum from Kafaru International. Uh, this pack isn't, hasn't been released yet, it will be shortly. It is specifically designed for the, the new 22 inch duplex frame. Uh, it will also fit on the 24 and the 26. I'll go into that a little bit more later. It doesn't fit perfect, but it'll work. Uh, but let's go over some of the options. So, uh, as I had mentioned before, this is kind of a Marauder Navigator X-Ray Loco had a baby. Um, a lot of the characteristics, correct characteristics from each of those. Uh, one, one of the things the Loco had that people liked uh, was these side pockets. They're different from the Timberline pocket where it's not a, just a big piece, piece of material. These are actually pleated or folded. So it's a significantly sized side pocket. And it's actually pretty dang deep too. So the big thing, you know, obviously with the depth, um, depending upon what you're doing, tripods would fit down there relatively easy. You can fit tactically wise, you can fit quite a bit as far as drums of ammo down there, things like this. This is 1000D Cordura. Uh, it'll only be offered in 1000D Cordura except for Fusion. We're going to offer this pack in the new Fusion Camel from First Light. Uh, the only people making Fusion Cordura are making out of 500D. So the only 500D pack and the 22, or the only 500D version of this will be in Fusion, uh, but it is 1000D Cordura. It's got a top pocket up here, dual zippers, relatively easy to op operate with one hand. It's got two handles. Uh, these handles obviously make it easier to quick drag, uh, throw in an overhead bin. We tried to keep this um, kind of like the Marauder in a lot of ways as far as, as a carry-on. A lot of tactical guys and hunters will go on a plane, they need a, a, a frame, they need a, a bag that's going to be able to haul a decent amount of weight as far as rigidity, but they need to be able to check it or put it in the overhead bin. You can do that with this. Uh, as far as hunters go or tactical guys go both, you can use an expanded meat shelf with it. I'll go over that a little bit later, but you can separate the bag from the frame quickly uh, and put things between it. Uh, it's got a full panel load, not a top load, loader at all. I've got a sleeping bag in here for stuffing, but that out of it. It's got a mesh pocket back here. It's got a water bladder sleeve here. And then it's got mesh pockets on either side for organization. So you've got three internal mesh pockets, water bladder sleeve here. It does zip down completely, almost all the way to the bottom. So I'll give you an example for photographers. Uh, the big ICU pod that F-Stop makes fits in this thing perfectly for a, for a photographer. And then he can run a spotter and a tripod in this. And then if he needs to carry some extra clothing or gear, you can use the expanded meat shelf and put some clothing in between the two if you don't have enough room. It's also got a handle down here on the bottom, obviously for dragging, picking it up, common sense stuff. This version is chained. This version is a little bit different from the final version. Only real major thing you'd be able to see in this video is this has full piles all the way down. This strip is, is actually going to be in the final version where it's missing here. With this back panel, you can put multiple different pockets we offer. You can put our small, medium, or large side pockets on there. The large takes up the entire panel. Medium, you got a little room. Small, obviously, you can put a couple of them on there. Belt pouches, the way I've been running this is I've got a medium and a large belt pouch on the back, so that works relatively well. Uh, other than that, with the 22 inch frame, you've got a couple different adjustments as far as heights on the load lifters. Most people are probably going to run at the top because it's only a 22 inch frame. You've got the two horizontal compression straps with K clips. You can move those up and down. I've got them running through plastic common loops here. You can reverse that if you want to. Some guys, if you wanted to, you could run open ended the split tail female buckles. And then you could actually take these compression straps, run males on each of them, and buckle them back in. But it will be sent with a complete horizontal buckled in the middle compression strap. Uh, again, 1000D Cordura offered in all of our colors. So that's black, wolf, coyote brown, mandrake, highlander, multicam, and uh, 500D infusion. We need to knock down some colors. We offer too many colors, I think. So either way, the 22 Magnum. Um, do a video here in a sec of the expanded meat shelf.